This is a project of great significance for the city. It's one of the most highly visible sites in the city, right on I-95. It's, it's our calling card. The state's been phenomenally supportive um, to convert this development into active uses. Um, so when you drive by on 95, instead of seeing a vacant old derelict industrial building, you're gonna see students learning. You're gonna see residents uh, at their houses. You're gonna see activity um, that is more emblematic of, uh, of where Bridgeport is and where Bridgeport's headed. This is a great project uh, and uh, I, I have to give a, a hell of a lot of credit to uh, Mayor Finch who has stayed with it uh, and done so very much work to, to get us to this point. 157 units of housing in phase one uh, school. Uh, we have some of the uh, students here. Uh, it's right. great, great to see that happen. That's how you build a community. Housing and great schools. I am so happy to be here in, in Bridgeport. Now this is a place where crime is down, test scores are up, development is happening of all sorts uh, on all of the peninsulas and all of the blocks and, and everywhere. Uh, and so I'm very happy to be here as we uh, start yet another project. <laughs> this industrial block was emblematic for everybody driving by of the neglect of industrial sites. More pigeons lived here than anything else. And what we're doing now is we're transforming it so when people drive by at night and during the day, they'll see kids doing their homework, they'll see kids at school, they'll see mothers and fathers grocery shopping. Instead of abandonment and neglect, they're going to see hope and prosperity. I'm so happy that we're going to be creating 250 construction jobs during phase one and phase two. We're going to be continuing the apprentice program, hiring our neighbors from our community, providing job training, providing jobs and union benefits. This is really an exciting project. It's an all-inclusive project. And I once again got to thank Mayor Finch for all this would not be possible and Governor Malloy. Thank you so much. Thank you.